Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 4th, 2019. So what is going on here? Well, Doug on it, we had news reports that the president is suggesting that maybe we hold off on the so-called phase one trade deal till after the 2020 election, which throws the whole idea of the December ter uh, 15th tariffs uh, that are scheduled to go into place into um, that uncertainty zone and making the market very, very nervous yesterday, gapping down substantially and then running lower. The good news is that if we take a close look here at the market, the, the bulls did a really good job of defending some key support levels in the chart. So holding on there, rallying back up uh, by the end of the day, trying to really show um, some support there. Then this morning at 5 a.m., I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting so tired of this type of manipulation. Bloomberg News comes out citing people familiar with people familiar with the talks suggesting that we're edging closer on a phase one trade deal and this morning the market gaps up so retail traders are getting caught in this political football being caught back kicked back and forth and it just seems to be tremendous manipulation uh, that's going on in the market surrounding this. Now, of course, there's a lot of nervousness over the, the tariffs for December 15th. And it's understandable that there's a lot of emotion around this. But I'm getting kind of sick and tired, and, and, and you probably are as well, um, because retail traders are getting um, just chopped to pieces with this political football. So be really, really careful on how you react to this and be really, really careful um, and, and think, um, plan your trades with the idea in mind that this, any of these events could reverse themselves yet again. So the good news this morning is that we are gapping higher. We're gapping up more than 150 points right now. As a matter of fact, 160 points in the Dow futures right now, gapping back up. And we're gapping back up into this price resistance area here in the chart. So getting lots of energy here to push back higher on really a story that tells us nothing, um, that we're edging closer by people familiar with the talks. Okay, that's kind of, um, well, the market's taking an awful lot of uh, hope, I guess, in, in that comment or in that news story. So this morning, what we wanna do is we wanna be very, very aware that we're gonna be gapping up into price resistance levels. That doesn't mean that we can't continue to rally if we find out if this story is actually true, though things are getting uh, better with the phase one deal, which seems kind of odd to me because we still don't even really know what's in the phase one deal. But rally back up into those resistance areas, we have to watch for that potential of a failure. So be very cautious for the possibility of a pop and drop pattern today if we're going to gap right into that resistance if there's no follow through this morning no follow through buying then we could see those sellers get back on the gas here pushing that lower so watch that intraday price action in uh, these charts and let's make sure that we get some follow through by those bulls in that intraday price action before we jump the gun and race into the market because we don't want to get clobbered Again, if, um, you know, another story comes out 10 minutes after the market opens and says, no, I don't think we're going to do something right away. And, <laughs> and we sell right back off. So watch that carefully and watch that closely. Now, the, the good news um, in this chart, first, let me, the bad news, the bad news, short term trend was broken. Um, clearly, short term trend has been broken. And even the rally back up won't repair that. Um, right now but if you take a look at a longer term trend we're still holding up overall you know the markets are still bullish and even though we had that ugly uh, ugly 
uh, day yesterday, which probably stopped a lot of folks out, cost them some money. Um, we still have that longer term trend uh, still holding up overall in the chart. So kind of keep that in mind. SPY, SPY also did a really good job, although we, we did break that short term trend. Just kind of keep in mind that we did hold on to some pretty key levels here in the chart and overall holding um, these higher lows. By the way, we're also holding above our 50 day moving averages and those kind of things. Um, so we're holding up pretty well overall. Now gapping up this morning, we're gapping again right back into resistance as you can see. Gapping into this price resistance, we'll want to be watchful of that this morning. Be careful not to chase. First thing this morning, getting caught up in the hype just in case we happen to catch that pop and drop uh, pattern in the chart. Um, let's take a look at the cues. The NASDAQ also getting a nice little rally back. What an incredible candle that we left behind here yesterday. Um, sinking hard, coming right back. I think there's some bad ticks in here, to tell you the truth, on this on this big wick, or excuse me, big tail on this candle. But again, the good news is that we are rallying back up. We'll be rallying back up this morning, right into that price resistance here in the chart. And once again, be just a little bit careful. Watch that intraday. If um, if we find follow through buyers this morning after the open, great. But just in case, if we gap up and find nothing but sellers up there, just like we did on this day, you know, we gapped up into this day, and I suggested be careful because we could catch that pop and drop. It's just that same situation that could be setting up this morning. So watch that carefully. Make sure we actually get some follow through buying. And there may not be enough information for us to get that follow through buying. We'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM, I think for the first time in a long time, I'm actually going to cite IWM as a place to maybe look for a entry into the trade. I think the small caps may be coming around here to really start to look good because yesterday, even in that selling, IWM did not break support levels. It pushed down. We're holding up overall in this chart. And um, now this morning we are gapping higher. So keep that in mind, IWM might be a place to look and IWM might be um, that index that starts coming around and maybe doing a little market leading rather than um, uh, always being, you know, the, the dumping grounds um, uh, where dreams go to die. <laughs> it's been ugly for a long, long time here. So let's watch that close. There may be an opportunity here in IWM setting up if the market is going to um, shake this uh, news off and try to come come back around. Let's take a look at the VIX. Interesting on the VIX yesterday, we had a major fear spike in the VIX. And you guys know that I've been talking about this for some time. That major fear spike rallying up and we rallied well through this resistance level um, at one point in the day. And we came right up in here and we were testing that downtrend um, in the chart. We ran up there and tested. But by the end of the day, we slipped back down and we end up closing right here right on that resistance level in the chart. Um, that I think is a good sign because the fear kind of calmed down in here. And I think as long as we hold this level of resistance in the chart and pull back, we could be in pretty good shape. And with this morning's gap up, I will suspect that the VIX will pull back down below this area. So keep that in mind. Now, one thing we do have to pay attention to is that possibility that the VIX could make a higher low here. So as we pull back, remember we have some price support right in this area. If we were to pull back and find some area in here of support and bounce and create that higher low, that fear may come back around. So keep that in mind. But I do think it's really good news um, this morning that we're um, holding this level of resistance and we'll be likely dropping back below that here today. So a little bit of a little bit of volatility to deal with, but overall nothing terrible in this chart just yet. Just a little bit of excitement and um, probably some painful.
uh, painful losses in some accounts yesterday that may have been a little bit too long and got caught um, on that news. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 is that four week new high, new low ratio. And I love this indicator simply because it, 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 it doesn't try to predict anything. It, it doesn't tell us market direction so much until we reach over bought or oversold conditions. And you can see we went from, we're dancing around this overbought in this overbought area up here just a couple of days ago. And then this strong selling that came into the market pushed us right down here toward that bullish reversal zone. Now we haven't quite dipped into that area and you can see the rally back yesterday. Um, we, we had dipped into here, but the rally back yesterday pulled us right back up. And so we're holding above that bullish reversal zone. This morning we're going to gap up and I'm going to guess this is going to be a sharp climb back up toward that mid range here in the chart. And that's just a flat out guess guys. So don't take, take my word on that, but we're probably going to move up pretty sharply here. And if we get some follow through today, that could rally right back. So watch that pretty closely. And one thing I will say is this pullback that occurred in the market, although it was very, very violent, may have opened the door to opportunity. So um, if we can remove the emotion of what happened yesterday and, and, and losses that you may have experienced in an account or something like that, if we can remove that emotion and just be very, very focused on the price action of the charts, um, there may be opportunity in this pullback. So watch that pretty closely. All right, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a few things that we want to pay attention to um, on that calendar. First off, at 8.15, we're going to get the ADP numbers. So very, very soon that ADP is going to come out. Um, watch that pretty closely. ADP can certainly move the market around, but I don't think there's anyone suspecting that this is the ADP number is going to be a bad number. So shouldn't be too, uh, too much of a market mover overall. Let's keep an eye on um, the ISM manufacturing number that comes out at 10 a.m. about the same time that we resume the um, impeachment hearings in the house but that ism you know we had a manufacturing number this week that was a little bit on the bearish side and if the non-manufacturing echoes that news that could be a little bit of a downer for the market so watch that close and we do have a fed speaker today and then keep in mind that we have the petroleum status report which of course can affect all those oil sector uh, stocks out there. So watch that pretty close. It can move the market. One of the things to kind of keep in mind, um, we have a big number here coming in the market. Whoops. Have a big number coming in here on the employment situation number um, this week. Um, so on Friday, we get that employment situation number and that definitely um, affects the market and sometimes we can see the market kind of become stale and stagnant as we wait for that employment situation number. So one thing you might want to keep in mind is uh, although we're, we've got all this energy around this news and these news driven um, whips that are happening in the market, it is entirely possible that the market starts to calm down a little bit as we wait for some of these big news reports to come out, such as that employment situation number. So keep that in mind. Um, although we may gap up, we may just kind of lack some energy. Let's watch that pretty close just in case we don't want to get caught in the middle of those events. On the earnings calendar today, we have some market movers uh, potentially um, on the earnings calendar that we'll want to keep an eye on. And um, one of those, um, like Restoration Hardware, will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Uh, work um, we'll be reporting today. Now, I don't see this one as a market moving event or anything like that, but just letting you know that there's some, um, some uh, bigger um, earnings reports out there that people will be focusing on. CPB 
is one that we'll be reporting today. It looks like it may have reported and is gapping just a little bit lower here this morning. CPB five below is also reporting today. Looks like it's gapping just a little bit higher. Must have reported better than expected, gapping just a tiny bit higher this morning. So just a few of those companies out there reporting, we'll wanna keep an eye on those um, as they may affect um, the market overall. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you guys do me a favor? Click that subscribe button on YouTube, and then click that follow me, or the uh, bell icon so that, that on that pop-up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the Morning Market Prep video is just part of what I do. Um, if you take a look on the website, there's over s nearly 700 videos on the um, YouTube channel from Rightway Options. And the whole purpose of these videos is to help everyone do a better job in their trading. You know, I've been at this for a long, long time. I've been trading for nearly 30 years, but I gotta tell you, I struggled just like everyone else who has ever traded. I struggled for years, and it took me quite a while to kind of figure that out and uh, get, get my game plan together. I have had the benefit and, and honestly feel very blessed to have been able to figure out how to make a living in the market for the last um, almost 15 years now. And so if you find this information helpful, please also do me a favor and click that uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Um, that helps us continue to expand this channel and um, help everyone um, get to some good quality information without all the hype, without all the prediction and things like that. And I truly, truly appreciate everyone who takes the time to do that. You guys are awesome. Never give up on yourself. Never give up on that dream and uh, continue to work real hard at your trading. Now with that, let's take a look at a few stocks. Now we've got a really a jumble um, in the price action of this market. And so some of these stocks may look um, relatively good. Some may be a little bit confusing um, when you look at them as to why I even have them on a list. But um, a few stocks that may be setting up and a few stocks that you might want to put on a watch list. Please keep in mind that none of these stocks are a recommendation to buy or sell anything. And you should be very, very careful um, about how you approach such a news driven market. Let's take a look at one that really popped up yesterday that uh, made a lot of sense. Um, for some folks, obviously, and that is Shopify. Shop really charged up here, moved up strongly. If we turn on some moving averages, big reaction to that 50-day moving average, moving up sharply. It's kind of an expensive stock. I understand that. It may not be in everyone's wheelhouse. Even as an option trade, it's a pretty expensive stock. But we had talked yesterday in Right Way Options on the possibility of maybe a uh, bullish put credit spread depending on um, your tolerance to risk but Shopify really looking good here moved up sharply now I wouldn't want to chase this you can see this morning it's gapping up a little bit but this could rest or pull back wait for that next opportunity into the trade Shopify looking very good what I do like about it is that we have broken our downtrend here held that downtrend as support and now we're starting to see that build, that nice little uptrend, holding that 50-day moving average in the chart, looking pretty darn good. Take a look at TAL. Now, TAL moving up very nicely here. And I've got an alert up here on this, and that kept alerting back and forth yesterday. Um, this has been kind of a, a long consolidation um, in this chart. And if I pull this back just a little bit, and it's really difficult to get a good line on the trend, but if I connect here, here, and up in here, you can see that we're getting very, very close to that potential trend and that opportunity that this may want to start moving on up. So keep that in mind, watch that closely. If I pull this chart back, you can see we do have a resistance high here 
all the way back here in, in the middle of 2018. So this rally up here from 44 to 47 seems very likely, very possible to test those highs up there. And that may not be enough for a stock trader uh, for profit, but for an option trader, that could be a fantastic potential move to the upside. So keep an eye on that, looking pretty good overall one we definitely want to keep um, an eye on take a look at amgen amgen although it pulled back yesterday has a really nice pattern now i know once again these are kind of expensive stocks and for some folks um you know these expensive stocks are a little bit hard for them to trade but that's where a lot of the price movement is right now and amgen pulling back and still consolidating in this move as this moves over toward uh, this trend we want to watch for that opportunity for that to pop on out so kind of keep that in mind watch that pretty closely a chart that i was looking at for a failure pattern if you guys remember talked about cisco as a failure and you can see cisco broke that support moved on lower did bounce back up and is looking like it wants to move just a little bit higher today but there's nothing about this chart that looks bullish uh, at the moment we're continuing to fail and Cisco continues to look like a potential short setup so keep that one in mind for that potential short trade with that everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day again don't give up on yourself I know this can be a very frustrating market when we're so news driven but there's nothing we can do about that as traders what we have to do is stay focused on the price action of our charts. So if we stay focused on the price action, this pullback may actually have opened up opportunities for us to trade. So keep a close eye on that. Try to remove that emotion. And I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. Take care, everyone. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.